good day to all the learners deck views out there and today we'll be focusing on uh, mathematics teachers students and institutions uh, we all have come across that uh, data and analytics is one of the major tasks that everyone needs to learn today and this skill has to be part of your memory so uh, the basic function or the basic theory within mathematics is the formation of multiplication tables so i thought that we need to build up some formula or some state where in blink of a second we can produce uh, mathematical tables of maybe thousand numbers so let's see how excel can help us out in this regard and what is the method of doing this so let's start with the first number that is one and two i'm making it a series i'll select both these numbers and and i'll drag it down till 20. Uh, currently in this video we are producing multiplication table till 20 so uh, you can do it for 1000 numbers no issue the method would remain same uh, let's do it uh, on horizontally as well i'll come collectively select both these and i'll drag it till 20. as you can see as i'm dragging it down it's showing me the number that is being written on this particular cell that is currently it's 13 i'll move it it's 14 and i'll do it till 20 right now so see i have produced it on rows and on column as well now uh, we would like to multiply rows with columns that is i'll put an is equals to sign here we would like to multiply b1 with a2 which would result in one this is perfect but currently the state of this formula as you can see in this formula bar is incorrect and why it's incorrect let me explain this to you if i'll drag down this formula see what happens the first one is perfectly correct the second one may be correct but as you'll go down you'll see that both values in the column section are changing for example here the value was b1 into a2 now here it's b2 into a3 so the column and the row both were changed similarly when you'll go down it's changing along the column if you'll do this for rows same process will be followed and uh, see uh, both values will be changed but our purpose here is actually to freeze out column when we are working on rows and freeze out rows when we are working into columns so let's see how we can do it for the very first cell here we need to freeze out this number in order to freeze it we'll put a dollar sign in between and here on the column level we'll freeze out this value in this way so this is how we'll freeze this number and now when you'll drag it down you'll see that it will be changed according to the requirement for example currently we are moving along a column so when we are moving along a column only row values are changing so b1 will remain same throughout the column similarly when you'll drag it down in horizontally you'll notice that that now the column value is actually changing and the row will be static so you now just need to copy it and you need to paste it around all over your table like this and when you will paste it the result will be there do it for all the remaining rows as well so now we need to verify if the results are correct so we can randomly select couple of numbers and we'll see if it uh, is correct and it is working perfectly i have made it for 20 numbers you can do it for as many thousand as you want let's make it a bit more comfortable and uh, let's change the look of these first row and first column so that it the readable format of this tabular form becomes more interesting so let's do it this way you can change it uh, as per the requirement so this is just the demo so let's uh, take some random number i have highlighted this number in yellow and according to math it should be 8 into 8 which is 64 so the result is perfect now let's go here and i'll highlight this number in pink so according to maths 12 we'll take 12 from the column 
and we'll take 10 from the row so it should be 120 so it's perfect so it's a perfect tableau form that we have created and we have created in in blink of a second so you can do it for as many thousand of numbers as you want you can uh, take the hard copy of it you can send it over through google drive you can paste it on the walls of your institute or wherever you would like to do it it's helpful for the professionals as well because uh, when we are doing data analytics we do come across cases where we need all these multiplications so please do use it according to the requirement and provide us with your feedback and uh, make sure that you have uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, which is LearnerDeck, so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.